And what the fuck is cracking? Uh, guess what? This is my PVC pipe marimba that I built about uh, one year ago or tubulum or blue man group instrument. Uh, yes, so basically, story behind this. I watched a performance of the blue man group with my band back in like 2017, back in March, and I was very uh, interested in how the little pipe instrument that they played. So I made one for myself, <laughs> yep. Check it out, it works. It's not fully chromatic, but I tried to make all the notes. And this, by the way, this is, I finished this about a year ago, so. I've had it for a year, and I just now decided to make a video on it because I sort of ran out of video topics to make, and this was interesting. Anyways, um, let me go around back to the back right here. So it's not fully chromatic, but you play with a pair of flip flops, you know? Yeah, yep. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we got B flat, A, B, C, D, E flat, E, F, uh, G, A flat, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, F sharp or G flat, and G. So, C scale works on here. Um, so basically you can play anything if it's in the key of C. Or some things with B flat. I basically I made, I, I, I was originally going to make the entire chromatic range, but then I ran out of room and I ran out of patience and I ran out of time and I ran out of money. I ran out of everything that I needed to make that happen. So therefore I just made the C scale plus a few flats. And it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. Thing before I forgot, for the, before the test demonstration, um, here we got, so I decided not to paint the tube because, uh, like I said, I ran out of time and I had money and I had patience. And I think it looks, it looks pretty good like that anyways, but I did paint the frame. And by the way, this piece right here, there's a little bit of a, like, break right there because I spent, like, that's the third, uh, generation of that piece right there because I kept breaking all the other ones. That was annoying as fuck. Um, anyways, so I, what I was going to tell you about is this. This is an extra little thing. If you stick this on here, uh, it becomes this. This one becomes a G. Um, so yeah, a little bit of extra pipe length makes the sound a little bit deeper, and the B flat becomes a G. Uh, let me tell you, uh, if you're going to do something like this, just make sure you label all the parts. Make sure you label everything because I did not do that, and it was a fucking nightmare. Um, because like I started with this. Right down there, it looks neat, and then I ran out of room, and then I started trying to do too much at the same time, which turned out to be a total uh, not a good idea, because I had a bunch of tubes lying around like that, and I had no idea which was which, because I didn't label them. And I got, finally got everything together, and I labeled everything as best as I could, and then when I took it apart to glue it again, the same thing happened, believe it or not, and so yeah, so if you're going to do that, then just, you know, be smart about it, label everything, maybe like probably make a plan. I didn't really make a plan for this, just made it up as I went along. Um, I got basically, by the way, I got all the things that I, all the lengths of the tubes off the internet. And so, yeah. And I tuned it with a little guitar tuner on my phone. So, it's not pretty much, it's not in tune, it's not in tune with itself, and it's not uh, supposed to be because it was a little dummy project that, it wasn't a dummy project. I, I originally thought it was going to take like a weekend to build this and it eventually ended up taking like two months. So, without further ado, let's get on to the demonstration.
Well, I hope you like that test. I mean, as, as you can see, there's still some things I need to work on, aka my playing skills, and uh, I also need to finish like gluing some of these up because if you didn't see, that came out and that came out. I might edit that part out, but that's to avoid my embarrassment. But um, oh, excuse me. Anyways, yeah. So I need to glue this one. Pretty much, this is the culprit that always comes out. It's a flat right here, and this F sharp. So with those things pretty much glued up, then it's pretty much a working instrument. I mean, there's a lot of things you could do with this. You could, uh, you know, wheel it around. By the way, it does have wheels. I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, the base down there, casters. There's even one in the middle. Oh, maybe I didn't put that one in the middle. Uh, there's anyways. There's four right there. There's four casters. Uh, got them from Harbor Freight, so hopefully they hold up. But you know, they've been holding up for a year. So, anyways, uh, they're doing fine. There's a lot of stuff you could do with this, basically. Like, so you could um. You know, uh, take like take a an amplifier, somehow hook up a microphone to it, maybe an area mic, put them, or maybe you can even, you can put them like a little microphone on every single one of the end of those pipes, and hook it up to an amp and go, you know, have a little concert outside of your in your city block or whatever you want. Take a little hat out, collect some money, and then you know, or you can do it at your school talent show or whatever you want. Um, but anyways, yes, that's that's it. That's basically the. PVC pipe marimba slash tubulum slash blue man group instrument that I made. Uh, hope you like it. And make sure you subscribe for more videos.